Hello, and welcome to week nine, nine of the health vlog. I will say out straight that I gained one pound from last week. I now weigh 197.2 pounds. I did not eat well over the weekend. There was donuts involved and uh, cookie dough brownies. And even though we only ate half of it, half of something that big, that big, is not exactly small. <clears throat> and I ate right up to the limit of all my calories both Saturday and Sunday because I was just hungry and I think it was the donut's fault because it got my want going. So, oh well, but it is what it is and I gained a pound, lesson learned. I am not that upset because I'm having a good day really. I think you should be able to see behind me. Big old bag of clothes. I just got that tonight very randomly by one of my neighbors who was just very awesome. And apparently she's seen me around and sees I dress up for work and decided that she lost a lot of weight and she just wanted to give it away to somebody that she knew would enjoy it and I'm going to. And she even hemmed some of the skirts with me in mind, which is just awesome. It's awesome. Uh, another reason why I'm happy is I noticed something this Monday. I had my dress pants on and I kept thinking that something was really weird. Not in a bad way, but just weird. Sorry. Here, we'll be on me. It was just weird because something didn't feel like I had before. And it took me a really sadly long amount of time to realize why. And it's because of my thighs. They're always gonna rub together, I think. But rather than like rubbing together, they're just just very softly rubbing together now. And it surprised me, the sensation, but it's enjoyable. Um, another thing I noticed when I was editing my Ipsy unboxing or unbagging video, which you won't see around because it's yellow. My camera battery was dying and it couldn't white balance and it's just, it's, it's piss yellow and I can't, I can't post it so it's not gonna go up. But as I was editing it, um, I was doing a lot of looking at my phone for pricing information and I'm noticing that I'm getting my cheekbones back. And I hadn't realized how much I missed them, but I'm getting my cheekbones back. Hmm. So for last weekend my goal was to do the 10 items, five, on, five, on, five items on Saturday and five on Sunday in the pantry, the fan cave, the walk-in closet, and to go with my dresser. Dresser's good to go now. Oh, man. Um, and, but I completely forgot to do this until Sunday. I'm not doing very good on that. I got my 10 items in each of the three rooms, the pantry, the fan cave, and the closet, and things are looking better. It still has ways to go, so again, I have the five items Saturday, five items, item, five items on Sunday, or just 10 items for the weekend, if I forget to do it again. Uh, I like the process where I don't have to sit there and just do it in one go, just 10 items, clear, clean things up, clear things off, store them, sort them, whatever it is, it's just, just 10 things and I'm good. And I've been doing this now for three weeks, four weeks, and things are starting to shape up and I'm enjoying it. And one other goal. And this is a sadly pathetic goal, and don't yell at me, but uh, my goal is to read for 30 minutes each day, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm not saying this is pathetic because it's reading and I shouldn't read, I'm saying it's pathetic because I shouldn't have to schedule myself to read. I used to be a very voracious reader, and it, somehow I just stopped, and I don't like it. And my goal for this weekend is not so much novels, but I bought these comic books several weeks ago, and these are the three that I haven't finished yet. I've started one, and I'm enjoying them, but I just, I'm not reading them. So I want to take the time, 30 minutes each day, Saturday and Sunday, to sit down and do some reading. And hopefully that means maybe I'll finish this one this weekend, uh, and maybe I'll go beyond the 30 minutes. 
I need to get my nose out of a TV and out of my, my phone and my Kindle playing games and I need to read. And eventually I'm going to get back into reading novels. So if you haven't caught the clue yet, this 30 minute thing is going to be an ongoing goal. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling. I always ramble. So again, gained a pound. Not surprised, not disappointed. It is what it is. I had one other goal last week. That was to do 550 calories burnt on the elliptical on Saturday. And I did achieve it, but I had to butt up right against the 60 minute mark. Um, I think that had to do with the donuts I'd eaten the day before. Like my body wasn't wanting to let go of those calories. So the goal for this Saturday is 600 calories. Even if I have to go above 60 minutes, 600 calories. Um, now I'll wrap this up, but there is one, I guess, how am I going to say this? There's one new feature of this vlog that's going to be ongoing but ever-growing. And what it is, is my, the snapshot that I take to put at the front of each video, or to be the, the still for each video. I'm going to put in a clip of each one going from week one now up to week nine. And that's really for me, because I had gone through the videos this past weekend, or not the videos, but the pictures this past weekend, and I really started to notice the difference in my, really in my face and in my smile on how much I was enjoying doing the videos. <laughs> but my face is starting to slim down and it's hard to notice when you look at yourself in the mirror every single day. So I'm going to do my now my new weekly clip of each of my my still shot photos to see the transgression. That's not the word. To see the progression, that's the word, of my weight loss and my getting healthier. So Bye.